this episode is a very exciting episode and a huge milestone, I think, because at the end of this episode, hopefully we will have power to the van because we have the leisure battery. <laughs> and we've also got a Serbo GX and a GX touchscreen, which basically has everything on there. The Serbo GX relays all the information to a touchscreen that can control everything from the touchscreen, as well as the apps for the Victron stuff. But once again, this video is in collaboration with Roma. We have a 320 amp hour leisure battery and it is an absolute beauty. So yeah, once again, Roma, thank you very much for uh, this little collaboration. It's, uh, it's been great so far. And uh, thanks to you, we are going to be powering up our camper van at the end of this episode so first things first we are going to be fitting the servo fitting the touch screen and wiring all of that up and then we are going to be thinking strategically about where to put this um, and then we're going to wire up the battery and then we need to earth our system to the chassis which i still need to get a bolt for and then we need to run and connect all the cables from the starter battery to the DC to DC charger. And then hopefully, I think, oh, we need to fuse up the 12 volt fuse boards, but hopefully once that's done, we can power it up. I'm not gonna, when it is powered up, I'm not gonna keep it powered up. I'm gonna turn it off because I do want to get the whole system checked over just for peace of mind. But um, we have our very easy to follow wiring diagram provided by Roma as well to follow so yeah if you are converting your own van or whatever and you need some good off-grid gear I'll put a link in the description for Roma absolute fantastic guys support is on hand and they're just it's just all round great to deal with if that makes sense but um yeah thanks again Roma so uh yeah let's get started into this episode and uh get finishing this electrics, which just felt like it's been going on for way too long, but uh, the finish line is near and I'm so excited. So let's get it, let's start this episode. <laughs> Okay, so we have the Serbo GX installed. All the relative cables go to their respected places. I just had a nail through the shoe. Yep, there we go. Get that back. And uh, we've also installed our GX touchscreen. Um, weren't really sure where to put it. it. Didn't really have too long of a cable. I uh, thought that would be a pretty ideal place above the seat nice and easy to get to and then obviously over here we've got a switch panel for the lights and the fan and also the wi-fi router we did reroute that um we've got the hot the hot the hob spur there so you can turn on the hob and turn it off we've got an isolation point and uh yeah it's coming together so what we need to do now is uh clear the battery bay <laughs> out the way clear the battery bay out the way clear out all of that because it's just filled with debris and cables and screws and god knows what else so we're going to do that and then we're going to make a plan of action as to where the best place to put the battery in so yeah we are slowly getting there once that's done we're going to be working on getting all the connections ready for the starter battery as well. We're not gonna connect that yet because I don't want any power going through until it's fully connected up. Um, but 
we are getting there. We are slowly, slowly getting there. I, I can't wait. We are getting there. This is, this is, uh, I can't explain it. Uh, happy days. Oh, also, um, I haven't told you yet, or I haven't got anything, but I've had this delivered. This is going to be our little, let me get it up there, LED kitchen light. Uh, it's nice, nice and thin, but it's about a metre long, so that will do perfect above the kitchen area. So, yeah, exciting times. I'm not, I'm not going to install that until I've painted. Um, I should have really done the same with that. But to be fair, I can just take out that touch screen. I'll just put masking tape around it or whatever, you know. Um, but right now, the cover is going on to protect it. So, yeah, let's clear out the uh, battery bay and uh, make a plan of action as to where to put that. Oh, it's all coming together. <laughs> right, okay, I've had to make a platform for the battery because it's going to sit at the back of this little part. And I've also painted that white and the bit that the battery is going to sit on white as well as in the garage. So I'm going to let that dry. Today's going to be a bit of a short one because I am popping out. Um, so I will see you in about 10 seconds time, which will be the next day for me. Once this is dry, I will put another coat on, same with the other one, then we're going to get the battery in. So see you in about 10 seconds. <laughs> okay. So the battery platform is in, it's all painted, it's all dry. Now we can get the actual battery in and start connecting it up. So that is exactly what we are going to do. <laughs> It's the next day, <laughs> but is today going to be the day that we power this up? Is it? That is the question. All I need to do is fuse the 12 volt fuse board, which I still need to figure out, and connect up all them wires into the starter battery, which is what we are going to do. I do need to install a 60 amp mega fuse for the positive running from the starter battery to the DC to DC. But other than that, I mean, it's all pretty straightforward anyway, but um, yeah, let's, uh, let's dive straight into it. Let's do it. Let's get this sucker on. Oh, I'm excited. <laughs> been connecting up the last few bits for the past couple of hours quite a bit of time has passed actually but we are ready I think we are ready it's all connected up I just need to flick on the isolation switch and 
hopefully this is it. Let's do it. I see a lot of lights showing. Ooh. This is looking promising. <gasps> wow. It works. Oh, that looks wicked. That's bright. That's bright. Let's check the USBs. The USBs are on. The fridge. It should make a noise on startup. There we go. Oh my God, we done it. We done it. We have electric. Oh my God. Nice little reading light. Okay, wow. I don't know what to say. I'm 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 speechless. We have successfully got power on. Oh my god. Is this real? Have I actually done this? <laughs> I can't believe this day has come. I've finally gotten power in my camper van. I'm terrible with electrics. Never been good at it. But I done it. Fucking done it. Still need to iron out some issues. There's a couple of things that aren't quite working. Um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna sort that out at some point. Um, but initially, everything on the 12 volt side of things is working, apart from the hub, which, yeah, I need to have a little look at. But other than that, everything else is working. So on that note, I am going to end it here. Yeah, I'm going to end it on a high, I think. Um, I'm absolutely speechless. <laughs> Look at me. I got a fire extinguisher out just in case anything happened. I'm gonna, uh, when I'm not here or not working on the van, I'm going to leave it completely disconnected. Just, just in case. But um, yeah, I'm going to end it here. So uh, haven't already hit that like button because old clumsy dopey me has managed to successfully somewhat wire up this camper van. And if you are new, please subscribe because it motivates me so much for this project. So um, yeah, thank you <laughs> for watching. And uh I'll see you in the next episode. <laughs> Peace out.